whether uh, my screen is visible to you or not. Is my screen visible to you? Unendu, yes, sir. Screen is visible? Okay, fine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, let us start yes, uh, my presentation. So my uh, discussion of uh, today is the augmented reality, the past, present, and the future. So I think uh, most of you are accustomed with virtual reality because uh, the students' background, whatever I have seen, uh, that all are young, my, uh, young people and all are the brigade of young generation. So all of them have gone through PUBG and as well as I think uh, Pokemon game, right? Yes or no? Please uh, write in the chat box, one, if you have gone through PUBG or Pokemon. And two, if you have not ever seen uh, these types of gaming, please write it in the chat box. Let me see the chat box status. Okay, so a few students have seen and have gone through the Pokemon game. Okay, so in that Pokemon or PUBG, what you have seen that uh, whenever you have opened your mobile in front of a real world, and what you have seen that uh, some of the 3D objects are moving, right? Uh, and uh, how it is being done because the 3D objects are being tracked uh, uh, through a motion tracking and as well as through GPS, its location is also being tracked. And as the object is moving either through your chair, table, or uh, through your almira, or your bed, or in the road, and you have to find out and you have to track them out, right? So uh, this is an example of augmented reality. So in one word, one simple word, if you want to say what is augmented reality, you can say that augmented reality is basically putting a virtual object in the real object, or real world objects. Now, what is the difference of, of augmented reality with the virtual reality is that in augmented reality, you are uh, providing your current perception of uh, virtual world in the real world environment. Whereas virtual reality replaces the entire real world environment to a simulated one. Like uh, you have uh, played uh, so many third party games, uh, third person shooter game, right? So where uh, you are moving and uh, you are inside a virtual world and uh, you are uh, playing in that virtual world as if uh, you have immersed into that virtual world. Now this immersion into the virtual world is of two types. One is the semi-immersion type means you are uh, outside this virtual world, you are in the real world, but you are playing uh, and your simulation environment is created such that you are inside this virtual world. Okay, so and another uh, that is called semi-immersive experience. And uh, what is full immersive experience? Full immersive experience means you have uh, where one uh, head mounted display like goggles um, you have seen in different movies also. When you have uh, 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 where this head mounted display so what you are seeing that the entire virtual world you are inside this virtual world and you are as if moving when you are moving when you are tracking when you are touching something as if you are touching within this virtual world so this is the basic example of the virtual reality now in case of augmented reality you can have the immersive as well as semi-immersive experience and in case of virtual reality, you will be inside this virtual world, which will provide you the full immersive experience. So I am showing you two videos. Uh, and uh, let me, uh, first of all, tell me uh, that whether uh, the sound of this video is coming properly. Uh, my screen is not visible. Okay, so due to, okay, okay. So now it is visible? So it's visible. Yes, uh, it's visible. Na? Uh, some of them has uh, written in the chat box that uh, oh, it is visible. Na? Okay, fine. Now I am showing you two video. So from that you can have an idea, uh, um, uh, a basic idea. What is the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality? Purnandu, I request you to help me out whether uh, the screen is visible or the videos, the sound is coming or not. Okay.
first minute we are with main for few minutes Now is the sound is okay and video is visible? Yes sir. No, 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 not this one, sorry. So uh, this is an example of a VR where uh, everybody has uh, is a, uh, have wear uh, the head mounted display that is called Microsoft HoloLens and it's a Microsoft proprietary product. And uh, can you tell me whether this type of experience is an immersive or semi-immersive? You can answer it uh, in the chat box. So whatever uh, that uh, through that head mounted display of Microsoft HoloLens. Uh, whatever they have uh, experienced that is a full immersive experience because they have entered into the virtual world now i am showing you an example of augmented reality when uh, where you can get the full immersive as well as the uh, half immersive experience Level 
like you can see on the screen, this is the meeting room and this is the lobby, which is over there. Hey Sam, do you think we can have these three outlets done by tomorrow? Hey Sue. Hi boss. Can you please run a quick inspection of checkpoint 48? I'm getting some inconsistent readings over here. Let me have a look. I can see from both there. Alright, that's great. Thanks. So in this example, uh, four uh, case studies have, sh uh, have been shown, right? In the first case studies, what is uh, shown, can you tell me? That uh, the firefighter uh, is trying to evacuate a victim and uh, he is in the complete dark and he doesn't know that uh, in which way the exit point is there. So what uh, the VR uh, device is doing that it is uh, doing the location based AR and VR through which it is trying to find out its coordinates and with that coordinates it is superimposing the actual location and after superimposing the actual location it is trying to figure out what should be its exit point so that it is helping uh, that firefighter in a near real-time manner how to evacuate from that system in the second example it is shown uh, that is for the real estate business uh, that uh, to a customer that uh, what should be your projected uh, um, um, uh, interior decoration of your office. So if you want to change the interior decoration of the projected uh, interior decoration of the office that you can change it and you can have the real-time view. And in the third application, third use case, what has been shown uh, that is in the oil and gas field, uh, the, some of the sensors are put into some of the pipelines and they are getting the air based uh, results uh, from there and from there they come to know that there is some gas leakage is going on and from the remote location uh, you can uh, identify uh, that gas leakages and you can rectify that one. You don't have to go uh, uh, send somebody uh, and you have you don't have to uh, uh, station somebody for the 24 into 7. Whenever the problem arises, you can send that person to rectify that problem. And the fourth one is very interesting. So through the multiple uh, USG images in the 3D mode, so they have created the uh, uh, 3D model of the fetus. And uh, that 3D model, they have put it into an AR as an AR object and they are showing it uh, to its parents uh, that how your fetus is looking like right now so these are the four uh, applications of uh, uh, this one uh, this application is called the combination of ar and vr that is actually mixed reality so that i will come to you later on and the third application that what i have told you right now uh, regarding the oil and gas field that uh, application is very interesting that is called digital twins Digital twins is a combination of ARV mixed reality with IoT and 5G technology. So I'll come to each one of them one by one. Uh, before that, I want to tell you that uh, the, as this is Zoom meeting is for 40 minutes limit, so it may be uh, your meeting may shut down at any moment. So whenever it gets shut down, the same link you just click in and you will be connected again. So be patient. Whenever it gets shut down, please click it once again. That is my request. Okay. Now, the next, actually, uh, how this term of ARVR is coined. So, this term actually is not a new term. 
the virtual reality concept came uh, actually uh, somebody has written some message uh, you are you are paused in between okay sir uh, is my display is okay is it visible punindu is it visible okay so actually this vr uh, concept has come uh, 6 years before in 1962 one scientist was there uh, called even sutherland he tried to create a virtual uh, environment through a head mounted display and that head mounted display you can see that one uh, it, it was so heavy that uh, it has to be uh, mounted from the ceiling and through which uh, that particular scientist has got the wire frame of that particular house that means he has created a virtual wire frame of that house but uh, he cannot uh, make the locations uh, that means if he is moving that case the uh, uh, it is not like the he is getting the real world um, uh, feeling that uh, he is moving inside that virtual house because the motion tracking uh, objects uh, uh, what are required for your head mounted display that are not present that time because that concept was not generated that time uh, and right now um, uh, how uh, your uh, wearable device is producing uh, all those uh, inside uh, uh, your system that i am showing you that uh, due to the uh, embedded uh, 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 embed of a few of the sensors which will help you that the whatever your head mounted display is working the same way your uh, mobile also can be used for your ear ear concept now as i already i have told you that the combination of ear and vr is called the mixed reality now uh, as already uh, just now i have discussed this one that why how your mobile can be used for augmented reality your mobile uh, is used for augmented reality just due to the following presence of the following sensors your camera is there accelerometer and gyroscope do you know what are the functions of accelerometer and gyroscope accelerometer gives you the acceleration based on your vibration of your mobile and two axis accelerometer gives you the uh, directional gravity and gyroscope gives you the directional uh, orientation of uh, of a device and there is and this camera accelerometer and gyroscope together give you the motion tracking system and motion tracking system is used to identify an objects in the real world because you have created the 3d 3d model now that 3d model should be placed into the real world based on the dimension based on the dimension of your home suppose uh, apple has right now showing whatever project uh, pro products they are uh, now launching all the project products you can have an air view that means the real world view uh, how it should looks like in your table like ikea furniture uh, ikea is a swedish company ikea furniture is also in the same concept uh, they are whatever products sofa table bed whatever it may be how it should look like in your home so there uh, they can show you through the ear view now how they are showing they have to find out what is the dimension of their product and how that dimension product can place it into your home in a near real time manner so for that i need the motion tracking concept through the motion tracking first it will try to find out what are the coordinates um, of your uh, home or of your confined places and based on this it will try to find out figure out the dimensions of your home or wherever you are and after that they are putting the 3d model over there so that you, uh, it should not look like uh, that the um, uh, laptop size is bigger than what it actually looks okay and another uh, sensor is there a uh, few of the mobiles having that sensor that is called magnetometer which will uh, basically provide you the earth gravitational force and the magnetic force also which will um, which is embedded with your gps to provide you the location based air now uh, what are the different kinds of augmented reality systems are there one is projection based air recognition based air marker based air then markerless air marker based means there are some there should be some qr code if you put your mobile onto the qr code your ar ar objects will come out and for the markerless air there is no need of any qr code or anything else now you can also create your markerless ear through this two um, uh, apps or uh, through app apk which are available in your android phone or ios devices apple has ear kit uh, ear core and uh, your android devices has ear kit but provided 
your uh, mobile should be equipped with the following sensors if your mobile is equipped with the following sensors with a very uh, high configuration gpu that case you can install those apps otherwise in the play store you cannot find those apps okay so first of all check that whether your mobile is compatible with uh, to install uh, these apps or not and another is the location based here then outline here and then superimposition based here now i am going uh, each, each of the uh, category one by one now the projection based here now how many of you have seen that tom cruise movies in mission impossible uh, that tom cruise uh, uh, is uh, uh, moving his hair, uh, hand uh, in the air and uh, some of the informations are coming as a display in the air and he is when he is putting his finger uh, in some of the points then the informations are coming out or in the iron man also iron man movie also uh, you can see that iron man uh, is uh, moving through uh, the uh, informations uh, in the air itself so this is the basically the projection based air so in the projection based air what is being done is that that your digital informations are overlaid uh, by a projection and you can access it by clicking on the particular uh, point so your entire digital uh, information will be projected now i have seen in some japanese restaurant also through projection based here in front of your table your projection will come and you can select the menu there will be no uh, displayed based menu or the no physical menu will be shown to you through projection based here you can select your menu and uh, what type of cooking you like and based on this uh, you can uh, order your menu Next is the recognition based AR. The recognition based AR, what is I just I told, uh, recognition based AR is now uh, popularly is being used in uh, most of the places. Now, what is being done that I, I have already told that there are two types of recognition based ARs are there. One is called marker based AR, another is markerless AR. Now, in case of marker based AR, there will be one QR code will be generated where the information about that 3D objects will be stored. Now, when you will put your applications uh, in front of that marker, then immediately your uh, 3D objects will evolve. And in case of markerless ear, there is no need of any marker. What you have to do that you have to put your applications in front of a flat surface. And in the flat surface, it will try to figure, first of all, through accelerometer and gyroscope, it will try to figure out uh, the dimension of that particular environment. And after that, it will try to put some points uh, into your flat surface. You need some flat surface. Now, on top of the flat surface, it will put some points, and that points are called feature points. Now, the number of uh, the how fast your 3D objects will be displayed as an Sorry for the interruption. This mute your mic. Please mute your mic. Okay, so 
thanks for joining once again and uh, also i am extremely sorry for that interruption now uh, uh, i am uh, sharing my screen once again So uh, actually, uh, Rishi has uh, written that how till it will con it will be conducted. It depends upon your interest because so many informations are there. So um, as long as you are interested, that uh, as far as that far uh, depth, I will go. That for technical details, I will go. So for the time being, I am show I am trying to show you that what are the different applications of AIs are there. And I'll take you another. Uh, believe me, uh, for uh, the uh, if you don't uh, want the technical part. That it will take hardly another half an hour, and I I want to show you uh, that what are the apps you can use uh, for your betterment. Before uh, starting the next topic, uh, uh, going to further, please if you have any questions, you can ask me in the chat box. If you have any question. Yeah, I will show you uh, some live demo. Even uh, if you are interested, that I can show you right now. Do you want to see the live demo right now? Okay, so better start with the live demo. That case, you have to bear with me a few more minutes because I have to make the setup. Because uh, uh, as I am giving the presentation uh, from my laptop, my laptop is not air enabled. My none of the air based apps will work in the laptop. So what I will do that I will connect my iPad with my laptop and from that I will show you the demo. So for that, uh, please bear with me. Okay, I think my iPad is visible to you. So first of all, I will show you what is marker based here. So I am putting one marker. So the marker is in my mobile. So look at this. Uh, this is the applications where uh, the application is trying to find out the marker. Now I am moving my mobile in front of the marker. So can you see? And you see, when I put my marker in front of that mobile, one 3D object has come. Can you view, view, view that one? So I am moving that uh, object. Now see that whenever I am putting my hand, so it is not there. So when I am removing my hand from there, so you can see that object is coming out. So this is the marker, this air. 
So I am showing you the marker. Uh, uh, the marker may be in the form of a QR code or the now. I am uh, projecting uh, uh, my camera, normal camera, which is not an application, uh, uh, in front of my uh, in front of that marker. Now the, look at this; it is not working anymore. Right? It is not working. Now when I am putting the applications for that specific marker, we can see that immediately that 3D object will come out of the marker. So this is an example of a marker based air. Now I am showing you marker less air. Now there are several uh, air apps uh, you can uh, see over here. So I am using one of the apps that is called Froggypedia. Now in Froggypedia, uh, is basically show you the frog's life cycle, frog's bi dis bisection. So most of the students, so those who have passed out the biosciences, you have to do the practical uh, experiment of uh, bisecting a frog, right? Now here, without using a, a physical frog, uh, you can uh, use a, you can do it uh, through air-based concept. Already. So I am creating the air, air anatomy. Now when the markerless air I am using. So it will try to find out uh, a particular flat surface as well as, as the feature point that I talked about. Now, whenever I click on that flat surface, now you can see the frog has come in front of my table. Now, if I put my hand over there, you can see. This is okay. okay. Now, you can move the frog as you wish. Now, if you want to see the different systems inside the frog, like I want to see the muscular systems, you can see that one. If you want to go through the skeletal system, you can view the skeletal system also. You can move it. If you want to see the nervous system of this frog, you can check and view it. If you want to go through the urogenital system, you can view this one. Respiratory system, circulatory system, circulation system, digestive system. So uh, it's a new dimension of uh, our teaching learning pedagogy system uh, is now evolved through which without using a physical object, you can have the idea of that 3D uh, through uh, the air concept or the 3D object. Okay, now uh, I'm showing you uh, a uh, few more apps. Uh, do you want to see in a particular topic like physics or chemistry uh, any air based uh, objects? In that case, it will help me because there are so many applications are there. It is very difficult to show you uh, because you have already given me the time constraint of half an hour. So I wanted to show you specifically uh, which is a bit use, uh, useful for your uh, uh, domain area. Like Chiranji Bora has written that in physics, he wants to know. Uh, some uh, application or uh, he wants to see some application in augmented reality system. Now there is a lab uh, application is there physics lab. So I am clicking on that. Now go uh, going to experiments. There are several experiments are there. Uh, first I am showing you the solar system. Solar system. Now this is a 3D model. This is not they are nothing to do with air. So whatever you are right now uh, visualizing, that is a 3D model only. Now in the left hand pan, there is air. Uh, so uh, application is there. Now in the air application, there are two types of air application is there. In the air, do you want the half immersive experience or full immersive experience? Now if you want the half immersive experience, that means your 3D objects will be overlaid in the real world object. Now I am going to half immersive experience. Now look at this. In my room, that solar system, the blue giant, red giant, you can see these are the part of a galaxy, not for my solar system. So you can visualize. Now if you move your devices uh, in, uh, in this blue giant or red giant, you can visualize this. Now if you go out of this, and you can see any other. Suppose I want to do any experience. Oh, oh okay. Another thing I, that I wanted to show you that you have seen the half immersive experience, right? 
Now let us go and check the how the full universal experience for this particular solar system look like. Now I'm showing you a full immersive experience. So look at this, one black hole type of thing will come. So if you go inside this black hole, so I'm moving my iPad, I'm moving my iPad inside this black hole. Okay. Now when I'm moving my iPad, I am right now inside this, uh, this solar system. So it's not in there. So if you go, Go back to that, you can go inside this one. Can you see? Can you visualize? So I have gone inside this one. Now, if I come out of this one, if I try to grab the mercury, that is also possible. If I try to grab the mercury, that is also possible. So, students can have a very much experience without uh, uh, to visualize the solar system. Now, this is a full immersive experience through air. Now, if I want to come out uh, to my real world uh, frame, we have to find out that black hole again. Now, can you see that hole? Now, try to move closer uh, to that black hole and you can come out of this system. And if you again rotate it and find out the black hole, you can go like this system once again. So, uh, <laughs> This is one example. This is another example that I have shown to you. Now, now, uh, do, uh, do you want to see any other experience uh, experiment from there? Yeah, uh, some of you have written that you want to see the model of a machine. Definitely. Google has created so many air objects uh, through which uh, you can visualize the model of a machine. So I'm showing you the model of a machine. Uh, there is another application that is called Jigspace. So click on that Jigspace. Now I want to show you the model of a jet engine. Now Jigspace takes uh, lots of memory as well as network bandwidth also. Now, uh, it has find out the surface. Now, uh, whenever I click this one, look at this. The entire jet engine uh, has overlaid uh, my laptop over itself also. So, you can go inside this jet engine machine. You can see what is there inside this machine. So, I have, go, uh, I have gone inside this machine. Okay. So, my laptop, uh, my iPad is now inside this machine. So, you can see. If I bring my laptop outside of it, you can see. And if I rotate it, this portion you want to see. If you insert, uh, enter into that machine, uh, if you want to see the cross section of the machine from the rear view, that also possible. So I have entered into the machine from the rear view itself. Now there is a huge demand of content developer, a uh, peer based content developer. Uh, Google, Microsoft, uh, Apple are running after those developer only. And I am telling you for that the computer science knowledge is not required. Computer science is one aspect that is a graphic design engineer but the most relevant knowledge that can give, uh, give to you by the respective uh, uh, domain expert. That means the, the people who has that uh, uh, the knowledge of the, about this uh, jet engine. So they can give you the better uh, idea or perspective. Now, uh, any other model that you want to show, show uh, see? I'm showing you the coronavirus. 
like uh, they have recently uh, added this coronavirus uh, 3d uh, ar object so i'm showing you how the coronavirus 3d objects looks like so look at this so this is your virus moving on top of my table don't spray so this is a virtual uh, 3d object on the now and uh, it is showing you the details also means what are the different types of corona virus mars cov sars cov and sars cov 2 the red one is the sars cov 2 which is uh, fatal okay and you can move it and if you want to go inside this virus you can go inside and you can check what are there inside how its uh, structure looks like so you can have entire details now the next one is that in which animal there is no virus so you can see now how it works how it mutates that also you can get the details if you go and set that one you can get the details we are running out of it now how its protein structure looks like so how it is affecting the people so all the details are there so it will give you actually first of all first when this uh, 3d model uh, launched by google immediately i have shown it to my child so that he can she can have an idea because she or she got the class four students so she can have an idea how this virus is affecting how it is spreading uh, so without saying uh, many things so immediately she understood and she is starting uh, the all the uh, health norms and also social distancing norms because from that she got the idea so how it looks like if i give a one hour lectures to her so it is not uh, be possible for me uh, to uh, perfect the same idea whatever uh, i can show um, uh, in part on her uh, within 2 minutes that is the beauty of augmented reality so do you want to see any other applications otherwise i will stop that demonstration and i will move back to the theoretical part Yeah, I understood uh, that the video is uh, pausing. Okay, now one student has asked a question that if we search on Google any animal or uh, that is tiger recently, they have added a yes. Uh, you can see the, the, those animals also, and even uh, the uh, respective sounds and everything are also coming out over there. Okay, so the chemistry model, right? So one student has asked for the chemistry model. Like you can see the methane combustion engine. chemistry has so many very beautiful applications on air you can see this is the methane combustion system how it looks like and if you click on that you can see that this one is the methane molecule if you click on that you can find out that this one is the hydrogen atom if you go inside it i can i think uh, the inside data is not available So it depends on how minutely, how critically you have developed your application. Based on this, you can see most of the uh, details out of it. Now, even solar systems also. I am showing you so how uh, the different planets uh, are moving around the solar system, as well as the, how the different satellites of each of the planets are also uh, uh, working inside this solar system. so uh, this is the solar system so if you go inside this solar system you can find out you can find out different planets and how the satellites around the different planets are also moving i think this one is saturn 
This is my connection. So if you want to get the bigger perspective of the solar system, you can go to can you identify where car is? I think this one the It's moving so fast, yes. So, if you show your children uh, during this post COVID scenario uh, because they are not uh, getting uh, the real one to one interaction physically, so that case, this kind of AR based uh, uh, data and the AR based model will help you out uh, to clear, uh, to make them understand. So I think my uh, one of my students, Rohan, is there. Uh, he is the teacher of EPS. Uh, so uh, Rohan, you can use these uh, applications uh, for your students. Okay. So uh, Josh Singh uh, has uh, requested me to show the uh, heart air video. First of all, this is not a video. This is the real world demonstration. So Rohan, I am showing you the, the heart uh, video uh, to you. So this is the heart. Uh, if you create the 3D model uh, where the internal details are available, so that case you can get the internal details also. But unfortunately here, the internal details are not available. So you will get on the, the heart over here. Okay, so we can come back to it later on. Uh, so, uh, um, uh, so that um, uh, I think uh, you got a little bit of idea about this one. So I'm coming to my presentation once again, and I can uh, return back to it later on again. Okay, so hopefully uh, you got an idea uh, through the real-time demonstration that how AR uh, actually looks like, right? And uh, uh, also, you got an idea, I think, uh, the difference between the marker-less layer and marker-based layer. So if it is clear to you, up to this much, if it is clear to you, please uh, type 1 in the chat box. Okay, fine. Now, uh, let us move to the... Okay, I got it. Okay, next is the location based here. So location based here is basically what it is doing that uh, already I told that uh, for that two hardware is required. One is magnetometer, another is GPS. So through magnetometer, it is trying to find, figure out the magnetic force and the gravitational force and through GPS, it is uh, getting your exact uh, location. And it is being used mainly by the army uh, to determine the exact pinpoint location of the enemy uh, and also the coordinates of the enemy if the enemy is in the non line of sight uh, location uh, enemy has uh, is exist existed uh, through head mount display. Again, uh, for the navigational purpose also, this location based AR is being used. Uh, like uh, if you put your mobile in a particular road, now immediately from your locational uh, coordinates, it will figure it out which locations you are and uh, with that location, what are the informations are available with a particular application and all the information will be displayed to you immediately uh, so that you can get where is the coffee shop, where is the fashion shop, etc. Not only that, if you want to go one place to another place, that uh, in Google map, you have seen that through 2D model or 3D model, uh, they will guide you, right? But here, you can be guided in a 3D real-time scenario. That means you are in this uh, actual place, and from that, it will guide you how to go from one place to another place. Recently, last year, Google has created one application that is called Visual Positioning System. So this is the example, whatever uh, snapshots I'm showing you, this is not the future projected uh, future project. It's a real time and it is happening right now. And it's a Google based application. And uh, within a few months, you can have it in your mobile also, if your mobile support the AI. So I'm showing you one video through which you'll get an idea. 
So how the visual positioning system works? Our teams have been working really hard to combine the I power the sound of the camera, okay. the sound computer vision, with street view and maps to reimagine walking navigation. So here's sound, how it could look, look like in Google Maps. Let's take a look. You open the camera. You instantly, you instantly know where you are. No fussing with the phone. You, you, that, all the information on the map, the street names, the directions, right there in front of you. Notice that you also see the map, so that way you stay oriented. Uh, you can start to see nearby places, so you see what's around you. And just for fun, our team's been playing with an idea of adding a helpful guide <laughs> like that there, <laughs> so that it can show you the way. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> Pretty cool. Now, enabling these kinds of experiences, though, GPS alone doesn't cut it. So that's why we've been working on what we call VPS, Visual Positioning System, that can estimate precise positioning and orientation. One, one way to think about the key insight here is, just like you and I, when we are in an unfamiliar place, you're looking for visual landmarks, you're looking for the storefront, the building facades, etc. And it's the same idea. VPS uses the visual features in the environment to do the same, so that way we help you figure out exactly where you are and get you exactly where you need to go. With smart text selection, you can now connect the words you see with the answers and actions you need. So you can do things like copy and paste from the real world directly into your phone. Just like that. Or let's say you're Okay, so I think you got an idea of how your location-based ER or the visual positioning system works. Now, uh, this location-based uh, yeah, uh, visual positioning system is not only the one applications to navigate yourself or the, um, uh, uh, navigate yourself. There are several other applications uh, which uh, uh, takes the help of the location here. So I'll come to you one by one. Uh, you, whenever I will discuss that uh, uh, ER-based applications for the. Now next is the superimposition air. So what is superimposition air? Superimposition air is basically, uh, already I have told that uh, uh, basically it is creating the 3D objects uh, uh, in the real world objects, right? Now in superimposition uh, air, we uh, create the 3D objects of a particular component and it will superimpose in the actual component. Like it creates, in this example, you can see that it creates the 3D objects of radius, uh, your uh, bone, human bone, and it is superimposing your, in your actual hand. For that, it needs to know precisely the location of your hand. And in that case, it will help you to uh, uh, make you understand the medical terms uh, or the medical uh, technology uh, to uh, make person that what is happening inside your body. And in the same manner, uh, uh, the, uh, for the uh, automobile industry, uh, that what they are doing that they have created a 3D model of any automobile engine and they are superimposing into your actual engine so that the students can have an idea that how your automobile engine is working. And he can uh, really attach and visualize the, uh, uh, each of the subcomponents over there. And if he try to deassemble it and assemble it virtually, uh, so that he can get the actual idea so how uh, the automobile engine is working fine so uh, if you want i can show you for that one another video also but before that i want to know that only 10 minutes left uh, for the uh, next uh, uh, three minutes now do you want to continue it further in that case i'll i'm not going to show you the video i will go through the details again and if you want to continue for that, that means after this end of this 10 minutes, if you want to continue, I'm, I'm ready. Uh, if, uh, if, it's your, if your interest permits, that case, I will show you the video and the other things also. Okay, shall I continue? Okay, so I will request you, don't uh, write any scratch marks uh, in the screen. Uh, so it is, it is disturb, it basically disturbs the other students. Okay, so I'm showing you one video.
there are so many beautiful applications later on i will show you how to create your air application You so see that uh, in that uh, what uh, the person is doing that using VR. Uh, you can see that person. I am showing you uh, in the right hand side. You can see that person using the VR and the headgear devices. Uh, he is trying to figure out the different components of an engine. And uh, whenever he is touching uh, through his VR devices to the particular uh, components, uh, he can drag it. He can get the internal details of that engine. So that without uh, using a car, he is able to disassemble the components of an engine, and he try he can understand all the components of an engine. So uh, this is an example of super uh, superposition here. So uh, now I am uh, coming to the application of AR. So already you have seen that the AR gaming like Pokemon Go and the PUBG uh, is become very popular just due to the putting your uh, the 3D objects in the real world objects. In the navigation you have seen uh, through visual positioning systems or location based here navigation is being popular now in the real estate business also in the real estate business uh, right now some of the developers what they are doing that they are using image based here in image based here what is there within your prospectus uh, the image of your flat or your home uh, will be there if you put your devices in front of that image immediately that home will come out and if you want the actual dimension of that home that also possible that case you have to uh, come out uh, in front of a uh, field where uh, they can uh, create the actual dimension of your home not even that you can enter into that dimension of that home you can see the what are the interior decorator of that particular home so this uh, can be used for the advertising and promotion already i have given the example of uh, uh, your uh, apple and uh, uh, apple is uh, whatever new products apple is launching you can see the 3d air view not even that uh, two days back mi has launched this laptop and you can see the 3d um, uh, view of that mi laptop even i have shown my daughter that uh, see that i have purchased one laptop actually what i have done that i have uh, created the 3d objects of that laptop in front of my table and i have taken the screenshot but immediately she could figure out because she is now become an expert of here and immediately she told that okay you, you have uh, you have bought two uh, one laptop i will purchase five laptops i will show it to you so a joke apart so this kind of uh, facility you can create uh, in front of your systems another live example i will show you uh, suppose in case of the uh, merchandise industry like uh, your footwear industry or uh, like your uh, fashion industry uh, where uh, and for particularly for this covid 19 scenario nobody is right now going to the um, shop right now if they go to the shop they never dare to purchase any fashion garment from there because they don't know who has wired previously over there and whether he has carrying the covid uh, virus or not so it is very risky right now how to uh, um, uh, channelize your marketing strategy through there now what they are doing that they are creating an air based application 
if you put uh, that particular uh, uh, footwear or a particular garments uh, your mobile then immediately it will and it will take your size and it will show you that how it should look like uh, when you wear this garment or how uh, if you wear this footwear how it should look like so there are several applications are there so do you want to see the demo uh, like uh, without uh, going through the shop how you are wearing different types of footwear uh, and uh, you can check it do you want to see the demo yes sir okay just a minute Again, uh, I have to connect with uh, my iPad, so you have to be here for two minutes. Is there two minutes is there? I think uh, time, uh, I have to run faster with time. Because already two minutes left for this timing. Again, so if you are interested that you can reconnect it again, I will uh, show you a few more uh, interesting topics to you regarding AR. Nine three seven. Okay, now you can see my iPad. I think now uh, there is an application called Wana Kids. Now this is my fit, right? You can see my fit, and uh, I have selected this. Cats, and you can see that these cats are uh, how it should look like. This is not the real cats, this is the uh, 3D object. If I change the shoe, you can see that this shoe will come and it will, how it should look like, whether, uh, whether uh, it should uh, fit in my feet or not. You can also change it. Even this type of applications, you can make it as a project. Those who are uh, students, you can uh, take it as a project. And uh, for the um, footwear industry, it has been done. Uh, for a particular footwear industry, you can make it for the other footwear industry also. So this is an application of how AR can be used for the advertisement and promotion. Now already uh, these uh, applications I have told you that this uh, for military augmented reality where you can identify the location of your enemy if your enemy is in the uh, uh, online website. Yes, Josh has written that lenscard.com is also using uh, that uh, without the physical uh, uh, connectivity. Uh, so okay. Please mute your mic.
Okay, uh, so thank you once again for joining. Uh, so I'm very happy to see the interest level uh, still going down. So actually, already I have told uh, that uh, I am using the free version of Zoom. So Zoom is uh, letting you only 40 minutes of time duration, and after that you have to log in with the same uh, ID again. I think uh, Arzu Nisha, you got your answer. Okay, so let us start where we have uh, left out. Oh, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My screen is visible. Okay, fine. Yes, sir. Okay, my screen is visible. Right. Now, uh, for the military applications, already have they are discussed the construction and design. Also, I have discussed. Next is the uh, in the location based. We are we have seen that it is not only used for the navigation purpose. Uh, it is being used for the underground pipeline also. Like if you have for the location based augmented reality 3D objects of the underground underground pipeline, so it will help you for the municipality worker or the other worker who uh, most of the or the PWD workers. Most of the times they go for the digging purpose. So in that case, uh, immediately they will be shown that under uh, and they can see uh, uh, if its mobile is opened uh, in a particular area, they can see that where the underground pipelines are there and how deep uh, those pipelines are there. So that before uh, digging in a particular point, they can get the alert that though don't go beyond that, your know, pipeline may be. Uh, damage may get damage. So for that, uh, US in US, they are using in some of the areas uh, this type of um, underground pipeline uh, uh, identification uh, through a augmented reality. Now another important and interesting uh, um, applications of augmented reality is that digital twin. So digital twin is going to hit the market, specifically the industry 4.0, in a bigger way. So yeah, it's a basically a combination of AR, VR, IoT, and 5G technology. And uh, what it is doing, it is creating a digital replica of your components, of any machinery or, or any component. Suppose here you can see there is a jet engine is there. Uh, the actual jet engine, the left hand side is the actual jet engine, and the right hand side is the digital replica of that jet, jet engine. Now what? Extra, it is doing that. It is taking the uh, overall functional data. That means when it is being functional, so all the data like uh, its wind speed, uh, its uh, electrical input, electrical output, magnetic field, everything, all kinds of data through IoT devices uh, within its uh, replicated devices. So that the replicated device will also function in the same manner your actual device is working. Now, how? Why it is required? So whenever you are putting your IoT data inside your digital twin, you are getting the actual functionality through which you can maintain, track, and also control the actual devices, actual components through your fabricated or the replicated devices through your digital twins. So that why it is important? Important is that. Uh, Whenever this factory machinery is working, you don't have to put any worker uh, in the factory for 24 into 7. Because you have to put your, in your uh, a worker in the factory for 24 into 7 because if any maintenance problem happens, or if any stoppage of that, uh, of any erratic behavior of that machinery happens, immediately that worker can let you know. But if you created a digital twin of your actual applications, that case you can uh, track, maintain, and control that particular machinery from the remote location itself. From the remote location, you can check it out how it is working. Is there any problem is going on or not? And if you put 
add, add on uh, the uh, um, artificial intelligence that case you can project that how long it will work fine and what type of problem may appear uh, happen in the future so in the post covid scenario so many companies are there specifically the automobile industries so what they are doing that instead of putting their workforce into the site uh, they are controlling and maintaining and uh, monitoring that particular uh, uh, machinery through digital tools it's a fantastic applications and uh, there is a huge demand of digital twin technologies as required do you want to see a video regarding this digital twin yes rohan i will uh, answer your query before that i want to show you one video do you want to see that video how digital twin yes, works sir. okay yes sir so i am showing you one video What's your operating profile? Okay, Twin, help me understand the problem. What's your operating profile? In past six months, my number of cold starts is four, my number of warm starts is eight, my number of hot starts is 39. The number of start-stop cycles has increased by 27.5%. Okay. Twin, tell me about your rotor damage. My damage rate has increased by 4.0 times over last six months. If this continues, I would lose 69.9% of my useful life. Hmm. Twin, give me options for mitigating that rotor damage. Based on weather forecasts, historical data, fuel cost, electricity pricing in my present condition, I have two options for you to optimize operations. Option one is to manually slow down my startup ramp rate so that you can reduce the wear on my rotor. Option two is to download the Opflex app and apply stress controls to minimize wear and reduce fuel consumption too. Twin, give me the factors you use to calculate option two. I used my past 15 years of historical data, fleet learning from 125 other D11 steam turbines like me, and 58,965 simulation runs to get this recommendation. I'm 95% confident of my assumptions. Twin, I need a financial perspective. Tell me about the numbers. The numbers look good. We can reduce stress by 25%, which brings the damage rate back to normal range. Startup fuel cost will go down by 40% and startup time will be cut by 50%. You will also avoid $12 million by preventing an unplanned outage. Twin, okay. I select option two. Let's do it. I'm initiating option two, which is flex start. Thank you. Okay, good morning. What you saw. So uh, you can see uh, from the digital twins, uh, which uh, is uh, connected with the, uh, not only with augmented reality, virtual reality, AI, as well as sorry, uh, IoT and 5G, it is connected with the voice response systems, uh, AI based voice response systems. Also. That means the whatever question is being asked to twins uh, regarding uh, its manufacturing uh, defect or the depreciation of that particular uh, engine, uh, when uh, it will be depreciated completely, uh, so twin is giving the answer based on the past data, 15 years, last 15 years data. And also it is projecting that how far depreciation, how, uh, how level, uh, at what level extent uh, it can go and how to reduce that depreciation and uh, what uh, should, uh, what type of um, uh, particular uh, actions uh, should be taken care of 
So uh, this is an application of uh, augmented reality uh, using digital twins. Now, Rohan, uh, you have you are asking one question. So that time I have interrupted you. Now you can ask the question. Uh, yeah. question suppose, uh, Rohan, your voice is very low. Uh, is, is it okay, sir? Now? Yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay right now. Okay. Uh, so basically, the question is that suppose in case of a motor which you shown that digital twin in your uh, presentation. Uh, like you said that we can work with the data with the help of the IoT devices, which is capture the data from the actual device through yes. that augmented one and the digital one. So my question is that can we make any modification? Like for example, if we want to experiment it uh, without experimenting in the real world object or in the real machine, can we experiment with some data in the digital one and we can see what will be the consequence? And then we can apply those data on the original one. That means you are uh, asking for the for the project purpose. Uh, we are not working in a real time manner. You want to work in a near real time manner, right? You obviously, you can do it. But the thing is that in the real time scenario, there are so many parameters work. Now, suppose uh, if the wind speed uh, the, or the rotational speed uh, in an engine, what it works in the standard scenario, if the heat goes up in a particular office uh, may not work in that particular scenario. So how can you judge uh, that real-time scenario article unless you get the actual data? But uh, for the time being, uh, for your uh, experimental purpose, you can take, you can feed uh, the dummy data or the near real-time data from the, any data set and work on that. That's true. That can be done. Uh, even uh, before uh, going through, uh, going for creating uh, the digital twins of any uh, real-time objects, will they start it with the dummy data only? So that can be done. That obviously that can be done. And for that, that is I am telling now. So it is not a computer science subject. So you can uh, computer science plays the uh, biggest role uh, to create this kind of air-based objects and IoT. But here you need to take the help of the electronics engineers. You need to take the mechanical engineers. Uh, so uh, and you have to take the uh, help of the aerodynamics engineers. So it's a completely interdisciplinary subject. Now, why uh, I have opened it for the class 12 students also? Because during this post-COVID scenario, most of the students are sitting idle in the home uh, for their understanding um, uh, of different concepts. You can utilize the different applications, air based apps uh, for your understanding purpose. So that is the uh, main uh, objective of my today's discussion. So those who are from the class 12 specifically, uh, I think uh, most of them, uh, those uh, who are the computer science background, they have understood uh, most of the concept. Those who are from the class, class 12 uh, students uh, or uh, the non-computer background students, I am asking you specifically, uh, please, uh, if you have any question, make perspective. Don't think that I don't know anything about this AR and VR. From the NAPE perspective, if you have any query, please uh, drop a uh, message to me right now so that the related documents, I can forward it to you through the WhatsApp group. And I hope that all of you have connected in the WhatsApp group. Please uh, respond it uh, through chat box. Is there yes, anyone sir. left? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so most of the... Uh, okay, Arun Shakia, Arjun Isha, Minan. Okay, okay, fine. So, uh, is there any class 12 students right now present? You can write it in the chat box. Okay, Chiranji Bora has asked a very good question. Uh, how can I enter this field after my class 12? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, complete your class 12. Uh, and after that, uh, for that, what are the uh, application domain area that you need to know? That is the computer graphics. Uh, that is the fundamental thing to create any 3D model. And another thing also I need to want to tell you, uh, those uh, who have already passed class 12 and went to BSc or BA, whatever it may be, don't get upset that, um, uh, that I cannot, uh, if uh, I have already in the graduation domain, so there is no scope for me uh, to enter into this care field, that is totally wrong. 
class 12 students uh, the um, those who will uh, be uh, the um, uh, prospective graduated students they will get some advantage because they can create their own 3d objects but those who doesn't have any computer science idea they can also create the ar objects do you know how because google has one application that is called google poly where you will get the inbuilt ready-made app uh, available 3d objects you can take the 3d objects from there and you put it in some applications i am showing you what are the applications are required uh, these are the software applications which are required you can take not all the application domain you need to know like augmenta your toolkit v4 easy air that AR kit, AR code, there are several applications, uh, APK or uh, SDK files are there. You can uh, learn any one of them, like Unity and Vuforia. If you know any one of the two, either Unity or Vuforia, you can create your own AR based object, now, uh, AR based model. Now, for the 3D model, if you know, if you are a computer science student, that case, you can create your own 3D model. Uh, either using Maya or 3ds max or uh, computer graphics itself but if you are not a computer science student don't get disheartened i am showing you one application and uh, one site from which you will get your ready-made 3d objects is my screen is visible to you yes sir okay so type google poly google poly So in Google Poly, you will get n number of 3D models are available. So you can take any one of the uh, 3D model and put it into your AR object. So you choose and you can search. Suppose if I uh, search for football, I think if the football uh, 3D model is there, you can definitely get it and you can download uh, that uh, 3D model of the football and you can utilize it. So I think uh, uh, who has asked me the question? Let me see. I forgot the name of the students. Uh, yes, Chiranjit Bora. Chiranjit, I think you got your answer. Or do you need to know more? Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Next, uh, is there any other class 12 students? Uh, do you have any question? Tridip Dash? Because don't uh, get uh, afraid that, that uh, this is a very um, uh, tough topic. No. It's a completely basic topic that is specifically for the class 12 students. But one thing is that to create a 3D object, you need to know, uh, you need patience because this type of 3D objects takes lots of time to create. Is there any other question from the class 12? That I, the specifications and goggles that are shown in the movie that can find all the related information like speed etc is that air type 2 uh, not all types of goggles are air goggles okay so there are several uh, types of um, uh, goggles are available one is called i think google cardboard so using the google cardboard you cannot get a fully immersive experience but whatever i have shown to you that is uh, microsoft hololens that is a complete uh, vr devices so through which you can have a fully immersive experience no uh, who told you that ar is not affordable vr is not affordable the second question Siddharth has asked uh, that is privately i'm uh, sharing it to everybody it's a good question Siddharth. that since ar might not be affor affordable by everyone so how will it be feasible to normal people no it's a totally wrong ar is affordable to everybody you can have uh, you can visualize ar through your mobile only that i have shown to you right now but vr for VR, it may not be affordable because for that you need the head mounted display and that cost around 1.5 lakh, 70,000. Uh, there are there are several kinds of several quality VR objects are there. But who told you to go for VR? Because VR has one disadvantage. If you put VR uh, for 24 uh, hours, uh, in that case you have another problem will come out. You have a sinus problem will come out. You cannot put VR 24 hours uh, uh, as a wearable device, but obviously you can use AR. So Shiddharth, have you got your answer? 
and Shiddharth has uh, raised a very valid point. And thank you, Shiddharth, for that. Okay, is there any other question from the junior one? Okay, now if there is no question from the class 12 students, is there any questions from the graduation students? How year can be used? Uh, what are the things that need, uh, need to know? You can ask it. First, non-computer science graduate students, then computer science graduate students. I want to touch each and everybody. And I'm telling you, no question uh, is invalid questions. All the questions are valid questions. You can ask any questions to me. And I will be more than happy to answer that. Okay, so from the graduate students, I don't uh, have any questions. I think every, you have understood everything. So any other students uh, who from the computer science background need to know anything about this AR concept? I will share a few books to you. They are, first of all, I need to know uh, your um, uh, learning level. Okay, Josh Singh. Uh, Josh, what is your background? May I, need to, uh, may, may I know? Uh, Josh's question is, uh, how can I use these features in my physiotherapy field? First of all, uh, physiotherapy, whatever I know, that you need to find out the pinpoint area or to put the pressure, right? Now, can you uh, experiment it uh, to an actual patient? If you are a, um, a student, you cannot experiment it to an actual patient because that case, it can harm uh, the patient itself, right? So what you can do that, uh, if you have the air objects of the human body, and if you do it uh, virtually, uh, to uh, where to put the pressure and uh, if I put the pressure immediately, how for, how the blood flow is increasing or decreasing, that case you can get an idea that you know, putting this pressure, uh, this much of pressure, uh, putting this type of exercises uh, may heal my patient uh, in this manner, in a particular manner. So uh, for that you need a particular air-based applications of a human body where you can experiment it. Yes, obviously you can uh, use it for showing the patient the, how the muscles or bones are working. Exactly. Okay, Chiranjit Bora has asked the question, what are the languages that are used for making air applications? Already I told that uh, to make an air applications, you need uh, two components. One is create a 3D model. To create a 3D model, you can create it using Blender. Blender uh, is one application. Shall I type it the name uh, which will help you? First of all, I'm showing you. Uh, to create a 3D model, either you can use it Blender or you can use it 3ds Max or Maya. So you can write it down, 3ds Max, Blender or Maya to create the 3D model. And after that, putting that 3D model um, uh, in, uh, in your real world. For that, you need any one of the applications like Air Toolkit, Vuforia, Unity, like this. Okay, now, if you cannot afford to create the 3D model, you can take the help of Google Poly. That's it. So just you need to know the computer graphics knowledge and as well as uh, 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 the uh, knowledge of 3D Max or Maya. And uh, if you are more interested, then you just join in our Facebook, uh, WhatsApp group. I will show you few of the material through which you can start your year learning from the scratch. I think, uh, uh, Chiranjit, it gives you an answer. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, next, uh, uh, next question is, uh, let me check. Uh, so many questions have come. I'm very happy for that. Uh, Upasha Parashar, uh, if I you want to do this project, do this as a project, how to do and how to make it useful? Very good question. First of all, uh, you can start uh, from the basic, from the scratch that uh, create a 3D model uh, uh, first and uh, try to put it uh, through Vuforia or, uh, uh, or uh, uh, through uh, uh, and another is that uh, Unity. Okay, now uh, we have a project group. Uh, we have signed one MOU with Emory University. Uh, Upasha, I think you are from Assam. Which place may I, uh, may I know? 
I am a Jhurhat, Kazi University. Okay, okay, fantastic. That case you are from our university. That case you can join in our project group. What we are doing that yes, we are creating the visual remapping of the ancient Aum Kingdom uh, in collaboration with Emory University. So through which what we will do that if you open your mobile in any places in Jhurhat or Shivshagar or wherever it is, it will show you 300 years back or 400 years back when the Aum Dynasty was there, how it was do uh, how it uh, was looked like. Okay, so uh, for that, what we are doing that we are collecting the geographic and historical uh, information and after that we will create the 3D model of the entire area and after that we will put it in an AR based uh, model itself. So uh, this type of projects also you can join or you can create uh, on your own. Okay, next is uh, uh, just uh, sir, is there any app right now that uh, can help me? Uh, you can see the jig space, uh, Josh, uh, where you will find out so many AR based applications for muscle uh, human body is there. Still, uh, if it doesn't uh, match you your requirement, that case, please drop a query to me. I will find out and share that applications to me. But before that, first check whether your mobile is compatible with AR or not. Okay. Uh, next, uh, Shushmita Bora, how can I apply these features if I will do PhD in agriculture uh, field using the artificial intelligence? Fantastic question. Shushmita, may I may know what is your background? Computer science, sir. Computer science? Uh, from uh, which year or who is a BTEC or graduate? Uh, no, MCA. MCA, uh, from this university? No, sir, Dibugo University. Oh, Dibrugar University, fantastic. So for uh, the agricultural field, how you can use it, that from the remote location, you cannot monitor the agricultural crops and everything uh, physically, right? So uh, to monitor it, what you can do that you can put uh, some sensors, uh, related sensors in the agricultural field and create a replica of your, uh, uh, here uh, in the digital twins, we have shown that uh, the replica of a machinery design, right? Instead of a machinery design, you can create the replica of your entire agricultural field itself also. So that you can monitor it and you can give the information to the farmer that what is the current uh, scenario and the health of your agri uh, agricultural crops. And uh, uh, and you can uh, make it as a startup business also. And the government is ready to fund uh, 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 without uh, uh, knowing anything uh, immediately. So for this type of applications, because in the post COVID scenario is going to change the entire world uh, uh, where the phys without physical interaction, is there any technology that we can come up with and utilize it for the benefit of the humankind? So it's a very good idea that you have developed. Please work with it, with that one. Okay, sir, thank you. <laughs> so I'm very happy that so many valid questions are coming out uh, AI related. Rohan, uh, you told that you have few queries, you can ask me. Uh, yes, sir. So the first query is that uh, in some of your videos, I saw that not only in your video, but in YouTube also in some AI mm -hmm. videos, uh, so, for example, let us take the take your video one where uh, there was a case number four in which the picture of the fetus was given to the parents and mm, the dad exactly. actually saw it. And mm. The thing there is that the dad actually took it from a file and he actually touched it or he just mm. uh, uh, interacted mm. with it. Mm -hmm. So, sir, is there any way we can do that, sir? I mean, how it is done, sir? Can you just... Uh, Actually, what they have done that, they have created uh, the uh, UHG ultrasonography uh, images they have taken. Yes. Now, instead of taking a single ultrasonography images, they have taken it from the different angles. And from based on this, they have created this uh, uh, actual fetus images. Now, if you take multiple ultrasonography images from the different angle to create a 3D view, the size of that images may exceed more than 500 to 1 GB. Now, for a mobile itself, immediately taking an image of uh, size 500 GB, 500 MB or 1 GB, and immediately see it as an AR image, it takes a huge resource intensive system, so which may not be possible. For that, what they are doing that, Whatever 3D images is being created, it is stored in a cloud application, cloud server. Now, whenever you are clicking on that, immediately it is connecting with the cloud server. It is fetching the, all those informations of the ultrasonography images from the different angles and immediately it is showing to you. Okay, sir. 
the another query is that suppose whenever he was uh, telling about the different plans for a particular uh, is there any way to uh, have a touch interface with our finger so that we can drag it or like they show in the movie and all they just drag it and they expand yes it. yes it is possible it is quite possible but for the planet uh, why uh, um, uh, they have not put it as an interactive one but uh, i have shown to you that the frog one uh, it is interactive i am i was moving the frog not only that i have shown you one tower is coming out in the marker based here that was also interactive one so in case of planet also it is quite possible but nobody wants to move the planet but because if you move the solar uh, sun itself within the solar system the entire solar system will get uh, entire solar system physics will get breakdown right so they have created that applications without any uh, touch and everything interactions okay so it depends upon the model to model and case to case so where the uh, touch based interaction is required or not Last query is that sir, uh, you told that someone needs to know the three D modeling software like uh, Maya or Three D Max or uh, yeah. Maya. So apart from that, uh, any particular suppose you work in Unity three D or somewhere, any particular programming language or anything specific is required. Ha! Huh, if you go into deeper, that case you need C sharp, Java. uh c++ because as uh, this uh, lecture is only for the class 12 students so that is why i have uh, told them how to use it uh, without knowing the programming languages because so many students are there who are not conversant with csc or computer science so i want to create uh, the attraction among them Uh, to go into this one without knowing C, C plus plus Java. Um, uh, uh, honestly, if you tell me, I don't know Java. Still, I am working on AR. How I am working on? Because I am not going into the customized details over this one. You got my point. So, if you uh, want to change the texture of the 3D model, if you want to make a real life feeling, suppose if you uh, take an example of uh, the the movie. What is the movie name? James Cameron movie. Uh, that is Avatar. in the after the 3d model texture uh, is a real life texture right so you cannot compare it with the other 3d cartoons that you can see in your uh, uh, in your uh, tv right so it depends upon how much perfectness texture details you want to put in your objects so uh, if you want more um, uh, uh, details into your objects that case you need to uh, obviously you need to know the Uh, you need to modify the customized details you need to know c c++ plus plus char or c sharp or java so so one uh, thing so that means uh, even a non computer background student can if he or she learns that uh, blender or that basic thing they can use their own uh, 3d model and create a app or something yes like for knowing the 3d model how to create the 3d model only thing that is needed is the imagination and creative power nothing else no need of computer science background those who are the best cartoonist or the 3d modeler uh, the model expert none of them are from the computer science background most of them are from the arts background do you know that creativity is the main thing over there but obviously if you know c c++ java or the other computer science subjects that will help you to go into deeper you can change the uh, code inside this um, uh, blender or uh, 3d max or maya okay uh, so uh, rohan uh, am i able to answer all of your uh, all your queries yeah sure sir sure sir and i have okay last later on regarding the teaching part how we can apply this in our academics and school so that i'll okay so that case we can uh, connect it uh, again in the <coughs> whatsapp group so let us see that shaini shengupta has written uh she shine is from economics background so i want i want to know how could i put such ar in my projects related to topic like atmanirbhar bharat that case shine you please call me i need to know the details uh, of your uh, project topic first and after that i uh, maybe in a position to help you out or you can write it in the uh, whatsapp group also have you connected uh, in our whatsapp group shine Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, please uh, drop the details in our WhatsApp group so that I can help you out over there. Because first okay, of all, I need to know the projects. 
or if time permits because only three minutes are left if nobody has few uh, other questions then shiny you can uh, 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 you can uh, uh, briefly uh, describe your project idea so it's uh, on the topic of uh, impact of corona on indian economy and the uh, and the sub uh, topic that uh, our indian government has put uh, 200 uh, crore uh, you release brief uh, uh, which is um, uh, uh, described by our nirmala uh, sitaraman uh, our financial mm. minister so it's on uh, that one thing is that uh, from what i have understood that for the displaying or the presentation purpose you can use the air but if I know the pinpoint details, uh, what is the uh, component-wise uh, thing that you want to do, uh, that case I can uh, come out with the more details or come out with the more idea because I need also have to think that how can it be applied to AR object system. But for the presentation itself, presentation purpose, you can uh, use AR. And that means what type of or what type of uh, output you can get. What type of output you are expecting. And uh, what uh, because sometimes whatever the outputs you get, you cannot convince yeah. the people so that with that particular output. But if they can get it in the through a three D model or the three D objects in a real time near real time manner, that it will help us to understand the things better. Like for the education technology, how we are using that here. A similar concept. Okay. So if I know the entire details, uh, please drop me the entire details uh, in the WhatsApp group. Then I will tell you better way and how can it can be used. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, Josh has asked me uh, how can I join more webinar like that from Kaviram University. Already uh, the details are given, I think. Uh, so already uh, there are 10 more uh, webinars are there, Josh, in the pipeline. You can join in any one of them or all of them. No issue. And you, I request you please share this information to your peers or friends so that uh, we can have more and more participants and uh, we can uh, get some encouragement that this is uh, helping the students in any way. So uh, only one minute left. I thank. I want to thank you all. Uh, and uh, yes, uh, Rohan, you can share it uh, with your students itself. Uh, so uh, thank you uh, for uh, bearing. Um, uh, and uh, I, because I have played with my patience only, because for two hours at a stretch you are uh, connected with me. And uh, thank you for that one. So. Hopefully, uh, we can uh, create uh, more and more applications on here. Uh, on here. So, if you don't have any query, in that case, I can stop uh, right now. The queries will be there, but for today's title. Uh, okay, okay, fine. So, and Minal has written that. Do you have any YouTube channel? Yes, you search in the YouTube uh, so Sajal Shah. Dr. Shajal Shah also you can search, uh, you can find out uh, in my YouTube channel, uh, so many applications are there. And if I get uh, the queries in the YouTube channel also, it will have, that case I will put more and more uh, ER based application video over there. Uh, will I get more mails and will add it in different WhatsApp groups? Yes. Uh, so in each of the WhatsApp groups, you will be uh, given only that customized details related to that particular topic only. Uh, 